You don't go to a male strip club review, have some fun, eat some good food, and then get your wig snatched off. <laughs> <laughs> I know that everyone is feeling like the energy is all positive and everything, but as soon as I saw Vanessa, I got pissed off all over again. Vanessa, thank you for coming. Thank you for inviting me. I have heard lots about you. Oh, good things? <laughs> that face. I mean, I don't want to lie. It hasn't been great. Oh. I'm hoping that Evelyn and I can squash things, but Evelyn's calling around, talking and I already have my guard up. I feel like the point of all of this is to try to resolve and move on, and hopefully that can be accomplished tonight. Mm -hmm. So when I had met with Jennifer and we had lunch and I told her about the issue, I didn't mean to bring that to you at your event. So you thought bringing it up somewhere else was gonna make it any better? You have an issue with me for no reason. So me being a loyal friend to my friend, that was woman to woman something that I wanted to discuss with you. First of all, I talked to your friend several times. She was mortified of how you tried to paint me and your conversation with Jennifer is a lie. I don't care about me. I've been called everything under the book. But the people that I'm worried about are the kids. You know, my son is with her as we speak. He's sleeping at her house. And what you did was wrong. We have a great relationship. You don't matter in this equation right. at okay. all. That's how you feel. Though. Exactly, and that's how she feels. Oh, really? You're an embarrassment oh, no. to our family circle. You have no. nothing to do with okay. this. Right. OK. <laughs> this is not where this was supposed to go. That's right. This is a bonding moment. So any negative things, let's just forget about it. Water under the bridge, we start from here. Evelyn? <laughs> Did you know? Evelyn and Vanessa agree to that? You know why? You know why I won't? Because it's bigger than me. And she crossed the line. Why can't I say as a loyal friend, hey, I witnessed the pain that happened. You want to act like it didn't happen, Evelyn. Yeah, you're friends with the mother of his kids, but we could have been cool. I don't have a, a problem with nobody here, but it's women like you that come over here wanting to my peace, and it's exhausting. And I'm here arguing with you about what? Exactly, what I are don't care, but about? what you did was that you caused drama. So then Carl what are we here for? Carl Rose and Amy, they're arguing all for what, you? Girl, you're embarrassing. I'm actually not surprised that Evelyn is getting more and more mad. I'm just like, is it gonna, it's about to click. No, wait, no? no? I don't know, what's wrong with this girl? Amy is embarrassed. No, she's not. No, she's not. Stop is... calling her, please. She doesn't. Oh, stop stop calling. Why? I'm gonna call her every time I want to. She's with my son. Right. Stop calling her. You, you need to be mad at your esthetician, you okay. ugly ass. Talk about don't call her. She's with my son. Vanessa is definitely bold. To be coming at Evelyn this way, I don't know what's gonna happen. Worry about your dude. Bye, Evelyn. You shouldn't be judging nobody. Now yeah, go back behind security. OK, business. yeah, OK. Bye, Evelyn. Bye, Evelyn. You idiot. You are missing the whole point of this. No, you guys are missing the whole point. What point am I missing? Like, you guys are like, oh, it's 10 years ago. I'm still going to defend the people that did I act, Did Amy ask you to do that? No. Nope. Then why the f are you doing it? Talk about why you call her bitch. You know why I call her? Stupid ass. Your marbles are loose. And you need to tighten them up and worry about your Whack job. She's like, when I tell you she cuckoo for mother cuckoo puffs, I ain't never, bitch, she crazy. You can't cancel somebody else's talk when your I am so surprised as a grown woman, a mother and a wife, that you don't know how to sometimes take a step back and say, you know what, let me be accountable for what I'm doing and what I'm saying, and maybe this is not my business. Let me go home and check on them cameras what my husband been doing all day. Fix your before you get into somebody else's 
stop deflecting your misery on someone else. I have no idea why this girl, Kalana, what's her name? Ka Kalana? I don't even know her name. I call her Kalani because I think she's full So I have no idea why this chick Kalani wants to meet with me. Maybe she's gonna give me a straight answer about why she's here, how she got here, but I doubt it. Hey girl. Hi, very nice how to see you. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm good. Good. Ugh, boy. So you wanted to meet up? I, I'm trying to just you know, fill out the room because you were the ones that say, who are you with or who's bringing you in? The whole energy. So those actually weren't my words. It was just like... No, you asked me. You said, who brought you into this group? I think you took it the wrong way. It was literally like, I am trying to figure out how do you know X, Y, and Z that you would end up at the ice skating rink. Bring me that you me made it that. seem like it was something negative because it was I, not I negative. I never said that. But you did get that energy because you actually got Britney going. Like no, it was I, like I, all this. Listen, Britney's was, her own was person. Very, it was very. Britney's her own like person. You came, I, I you didn't came feel doing nothing. When I just was asking no, a question. No, well, I put that aggressive energy. Yeah, when I was asking you, like, who do you know? You definitely got aggressive. So who do you know? How, why are you here? What do you mean? Why am I here? What uh, I just I, said. Who do I, you know? I know everybody. Okay, so why are you here? Why are you here? Why, I'm asking you why are you here. Why are because you here? we're all friends and we hang out. Why? Oh my God. Girl, who the hell are you? That's what we're all trying to figure out. Why are you friends with people? Because we have things in common. What do you have in common with a woman? We were all wives at one point. Okay, how long? Majority. How long? Girl, I'm not doing an interview with you. Do you have kids? No, I don't. A big thing with Jennifer is she can dish it but she can't take it. You are a grown-ass woman, so if you come to me with that energy, I'm going to meet you where you are. And how long ago were you married? It doesn't matter. It, do, it very, it very well matters. Were you ever married? Because yes. I heard you were side. No, no, never. And do my daughter's father at 19. Okay. We, we didn't have my daughter so I was 25. It looks okay. like you're just trying to be. I'm trying to be what? Girl, you, I, why I, you, I, you're I not was relevant. a basketball wife. For what, were two you years? Ever? A what, one you year, ever? two years? No, I was no with kids. my man for a whole decade. What man was he? Who, what's his name? Why do you, why does it matter? Because you, he was you, never relevant. And you were? You don't get to question me. You don't get to question what I've done, who I've been married to, who am I? Oh, no, 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 no. You trying to get a seat at the table, not me, honey. Oh, I you was relevant. Were? My daughter's favorite. No, you're a side, you're a side. You're a side, you're a side, you're a side, no, you're a side baby. girl. No, baby. You're you're side, is he married? Do you, do you research? My daughter is uh, 14. Is he married? She got married three years ago, baby. Well, we're do, your you do your homework. Do your homework. My thing is, I don't dirt, care about your You're man. trash. Oh, I'm trash? You're irrelevant. You're, oh, you're, okay. you're hanging on by a thread. You're hanging on by a thread. I, I think that's you, you have boo. nothing. You have I think nothing. that's you. You got, you were married 10 you're years ago. You're delusional. Girl, you were married 10 years ago. Nothing. Girl, bye. You're irrelevant. You're hanging on by a thread. Oh, my God. I think it said a lot to Jen's character when she got up and walked away. She's a coward. Bitch, you set the house on fire. And then now that the house is burning, you want to always find the closest exit. It's sad, quite frankly. Girl, 10 years ago, you were married for, uh -huh. for 20 minutes. Girl, you're trash. Okay. I got a whole daughter. daughter. Yes, 10 Ten years ago. Girl, you, you, girl, you better get what? the out of my face. First of all, okay, yeah. she... they, don't, they okay. don't walk up on me. Wow. You have a problem. Yeah. Don't do that. Wow. Wow. Don't wow. do that. Wow. Don't do that. Lost her. She put her hands on me? <laughs> wow. Coming. Who is it? Vanessa. Hey, look. Hey. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's hot. I really want to fix things with Jen, Evelyn, and Vanessa. Hey, ladies. Come on in. Hey. I'm out that heat. I was finally able to get them to all sit down and discuss this like grown women. There is some elephants in the room, especially as far as Jennifer goes, and I'll leave the floor to hopefully talk it out and we move on like grown women. So I'll start. Okay. You have been actively trying to find receipts or tea on Jennifer's man. When we had the workout and you told me that she had got scammed by the puppy, I was gonna look into getting your money back because that's what I do. 
What is it to you? The same way I heard that you were going around telling the girls, oh, she broke up with LaVon and all of that. I never had that conversation with you because I didn't break up with LaVon. So I don't understand why you're, you're, you're always like in somebody's business. Okay, well, so I honestly didn't mean it to be like in your business because I would want to know if it was me. Honestly, it was coming from like a caring place and I hope that you could receive Okay, that. so let me, let me just, let me, let me just take off my glasses because this is a lot. Yes, we got scammed for a puppy, okay? But my thing is this. You, you met Christian one time, right? This is a man that I am in a relationship. We are, we are happy. I am in love with that man. When you see me at that event, you saw that I was happy. I know you saw yes. that. Because everybody sees my glow. Yes. So for you to try and I diminish that, I have that. a problem with that. No, Jennifer, I no, wasn't no, no, doing no, that. No, Vanessa, because you were the I one not... that's going around telling people, oh, you know, he has this son, she that don't know about it. blah, blah, blah. No, Jennifer, I just wanted to make sure you knew, because I would You don't have know. to make sure about me. I did not want to bring up your man. I didn't want to embarrass you. You're embarrassing your self. Look at yourself and your relationship. So I'm being ambushed, and I'm having this flashback to the Evelyn situation. So here we go. The game of telephone happened again. Vanessa, I think that you have to really figure out what you're going to do with your life. You need to worry about oh, yourself. I can definitely You need to worry about this. yourself, sis. Girl, go find your happiness, because it's very apparent that you are miserable. And miserable people like to focus on bull and what I'm sick of is you and Clayana acting like y'all do all this and then you act like a victim. I have never seen two women that have nothing going for themselves. Oh my God. Nothing I going for like themselves. A whole oh, gym, a business. A whole I'm talking about what you right doing. Now. Who is Vanessa Ryder? Look I at yourself. None. I have a, Who are a you? wife, a mother, Who are you? a business owner. A oh, wife and you're miserable. You cried and, and you cried with me about you having a miscarriage because you were being extorted. What I had shared about my miscarriage, I didn't share that with Evelyn for her to try to turn it around or use it against me, but I really don't know why she would bring that up. I have never told Jennifer or Jackie that. And I know you love your kids, but you gotta love yourself first, sis. I don't know your personal business. I haven't asked you because I met Isaiah and he's been nothing but respectful and nice to me. This goes deeper. Whatever this is, I don't know. Um, and can I talk to you one-on-one? -on -one? Of course. Come on. God. I didn't think that I was going to come in here and lay into Vanessa as hard as I did. And although she is in everybody's business, there's a part of me that also sees a very sad side of Vanessa, and I have compassion for that. I don't want you to feel attacked. I'm not here to fight you. My heart just tells me that you're dealing with so much. And what you told me when we first talked about you being pregnant and losing the baby, like, you don't deserve that. Three years ago, I got pregnant, and I heard a conversation that my husband, he was having with another woman, mm, and yeah. she was trying to blackmail him and, and out him for having an affair with him. And the whole situation, like, caused me to miscarry the baby. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Vanessa. I really wanted another baby. And you know, like, I shared with you, like, that's how I feel, like, committed to my kids. I get that, but whenever I have removed myself from a situation, my thought was I need to be the best version of myself for my kids. You know what I'm saying? And you need to be the best version of yourself for your kids. You have been in this. I don't know your whole story, but I know it hasn't been positive. I just want good for your life. I want you to really love yourself, Vanessa. I had my issues with Evelyn and I would have never thought that we would be here. I do appreciate that she is coming from a place of care. I do have some hurt, and I feel like we could be very similar in the brokenness that we may both still have. 
I know what it's like to try to figure out what, what am I going to do? How am I going to get out of this situation? So if I could help navigate that because I've been through hell and back, I'm willing to do that for y'all. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, you, and I mean that genuinely from my heart. Thank you. Thank you. over drinks, baby. You okay, Brittany? Okay. We're good. I'm, I'm cut you off. You know what? Give me that bottle. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm cut off. After having an amazing time on the ring, I checked my girl, Brittany. She was like blank stare. So I'm just people how to make sure she's straight because I'm going to always make sure she's straight. But that being said, I'm planning a dinner for Natasha next week. I want to invite y'all. Okay. So well, I would love to meet her. Yes. yes. I'm just so putting a smile on your face. Yes. Kaylani, can you help plan it? Girls, girl, just tell me what you want. Her name is Kaylani? No, it's Kaylani. Oh, I was like, wait a minute. Like, Kaylani. Kaylani. It's Kaylani. It's Kaylani. It's Kaylani. It's Kaylani. And she said no, Kaylani. Kaylani. No, 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 no. Look, I'm, I'm just playing the lady to dinner. But that's yeah. how much we don't know you yet. We need to get Kaylani. to know you better. I'm sorry. Kaylani. No, but honestly, it was like you just kind of appeared, so we didn't know. Like, I think she's kind of appeared. Well, I don't well, think she not. disappeared. Yeah, I don't no, think she disappeared. No, but we didn't know like, whose friend you were. I had an interaction with Jackie, Evelyn, and Shawnee. You just came around, and we didn't but know, why, like, why, why from you where. Because you're because hanging you're, with us. Yeah. I don't think nobody needs to know. I don't I'll oh. have to check in. <laughs> no, we do need to know where you came no. from. Playana has this huge wall built up around her, it seems. And what I think she's doing it for is she feels inferior to the group or she wants to make her stance known, and she doesn't have to do that. We're just trying to find out a little bit more about you, Clayana. I don't really care. I'm gonna get into that. Like, yeah. listen, I'm a grown ass woman. I'm somebody in my own right. Wait, 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 wait. Brooke, let me be clear. No, let, no, no, but no, 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 everybody no, has is, been talking. Is, is the thing ah, is, I'm trying to be clear. As people got their own name. And I'm gonna stand on my own name. Yeah. Exactly. That's just, okay, that's just what it is. So that's what she's talking about. So I'm co-signing that. That's all I'm saying. People stand on their own name on all 10. That's just what it is. Hold on, Brit. Okay, Brittany, you can go away. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. Why are you saying that? Because I want to. No, I'm saying 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 I'm white girl wasted. I'm just like, girl, you spilling tequila. Just giving sloppy drunk. I don't hang around women like that. And I drink champagne. You got the right one, though. Brittany brought us to the ice cream ring to have a good time. But when we from, when you stand up, that's just like, OK, what's up? So Brittany is in defense, like, we can't come together and do nothing. I'm over it. You're drunk and you're sloppy. Sloppy? Yeah, you're I'm drunk and you're sloppy. sloppy. Yeah, what? I want to talk what? to the surgeon then. Go ahead. You got flat. You need a Hey, guess what? I'm natural. You look like a little I'm boy. Natural. Okay, really, this isn't what I signed up for, and this is not what I expected. Last time I've seen most of these ladies was at the dinner with Shawnee, so I haven't had a whole lot of fun coming around Jackie's friends. For you, mama. I got a pop-up. Oh, oh, thank oh, you. How are you feeling? These are beautiful. I know you didn't expect me, but I was like, you know what? I'm going, because you I said I could. I said it, and I meant it. Oh, my god, Brooke. How are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling fabulous. Have a seat. Oh, my you god. You want some wine? I want, yes, champagne wine, anything I have you got. Wine. I really feel like with Brooke and I's relationship, sometimes it goes up and down. But after sitting with her and talking, we decided we were going to put ourselves in a better place. I have something for you. You do? And Girl, you got something for me other than this good-ass wine? Other than this wine. Because even for everyone who was not able to show up, I made oh. sure that they were able to get a book from Kayla. It's not an obituary, it's a book. Yeah. And this is what I gave to all of the guests and was at the service. Love it, and I'm so sorry. Thank you. This is a beautiful tribute to Kayla. This woman has lost her daughter. And the pain that Brooke must be feeling and how strong she is to be able to even put this book together and then to share it with me, it means a lot to me. I 
appreciate you. Mm -hmm. It hurts my heart that I wasn't there for you in such a hold on in such a personal moment. I'm honored to be your friend. I'm really here for you. Thank and you. if you get into it with these girls, I, I, I will listen. fight for you. I know. And I really appreciate that, Jackie, especially after the other day at ice skating. I know it was out of control. Do you feel like I was combative when I stood I up? I felt like you stood up and was trying to still conversate. Yes. And it was like, OK, it's elevating. And she threw the drink. Mm -hmm. At that point, I felt like your retaliation was warranted. Let me tell you something. I wake up every single day with a fire that yes. is lit inside of me from the anger that I have from losing my daughter. And this is why I go to therapy. And I know that that flame can start on simmer and go all the way high, right. like serious. I know. Brooke and I have been able to move forward and I feel good about that. But it's unfortunate because now another pair in the group has fallen apart, Brooke and Brittany. And I don't know how I'm gonna help put this thing back together. We gonna have to figure this out. But guess what? Sometimes it's gotta be put in place. And that's how I feel about her right now. What? You look like a good time. I can't party. Right now I'm on the block. Nothing can stop me. Yeah, yeah. I've never been to a male strip club. And I think it's a good opportunity for us to get along. Like, if we can't get along and there's fine-ass men walking around in little thongs, like, ugh, then we're hopeless. Oh, hey, girl. Okay. Hi. 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 Hello. I've always said that Jackie was messy, and in that instance, she proved me right. Uh -huh. You're too fake and phony around here. Oh. Here? I have not had a conversation with Kleana since she put her hands on me. She wants to say we're cool. We're not cool. So go have a seat. Leave me. How are you, bro? You look gorgeous. Thank you. Glad you came out. We're nice. I pop in and I say hi to everybody. You know, Jennifer is going to be that she is. But you know what? I'm not going to let you mess up our night. I'm here. I done got dressed. I'm out. We about to have a good time. We're getting some drinks, so we just hey, want to You want something to drink? Water I'm good, thank you. Here I got money for everybody, so I'm going to include you and give you some. Like she said, a little honey bun. Yeah. A little honda. A little, a little, little something, something. Jackie was just trying to I know. You better stop. I know Jackie damn well does not like Kleana. As much as she want to be like, hey, girl, you know she's full of Extremely petty, and I love every second of it. Respectfully. And here we go. Back to the petty bull. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. trying to come for me. I think Evelyn and Jennifer thought that I was going to cower, but that is just absolutely not who I am. I'm not gonna cower for none of them hags. I know how petty Jen can be, so I do not doubt Cleona for a second. But 
We're having such a good night. I want to try to diffuse the situation and get everybody back on the same track so we can finish having fun. They already tricked me to come to a mirror review and Jackie told me it's going to be here. The way some of these women act, it really goes to show that age does not dictate maturity and a complete double standard in this group. go to a male strip club review, have some fun, eat some good food, and then get your wig snatched off and getting carried out with security. <laughs> Damn, that ain't a night you want to have, especially in Arizona. <laughs> it's no secret that Evelyn and I have had our ups and downs, but the way she had my back tonight, she really is riding for me, and it makes me really happy to have my friend back like this. How dare she did How am I the one being picked up, taken out? I felt like that was so unfair because I never put my hands on anybody. That was Evelyn. I think it had been one thing if Kleana like ran Jen down and started swinging on her. But Kleana just standing over her like doo 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 and didn't do anything, that didn't call for all that. And Jen, if she did not want a problem with Kleana, then she should have kept her closed. End of story. Yeah. Uh oh. Real quick, uh, Vanessa, if you don't mind, can we talk to you real quick? I invited Vanessa here to make her feel included, but she tends to be messy. So I just hope Christian and Vanessa keep this quick because I feel like all of my customers are listening. First of all, whatever goes on in my household is between me and Jennifer, right? We don't bring my kids into this situation, period. She so. called me, listen, so, so I'm gonna let you talk. Mm -hmm. She called me pissed off, mm -hmm. right? Yes, I've been to prison. Yes, that's my life story. Right. Did I write a book and become a best-selling author? Yes. If you really have an issue, you go to Jennifer. Okay, so can I talk now? You can talk. Okay, so first of all, Evelyn came to me and said she got scammed. I started looking into her being scammed about the puppy. Did you say that I scammed her for the puppy when I paid for it? No, I never said that. Well, that was what people were saying you insinuated. No, no. who Wait. paid for the dog? I don't know who paid, what, what? You don't think? Because it sounds like a damn scam. We need to get the whole drop yeah. on him. I never said that you scammed her. Okay. But what I found out was that you had wrote a book. And then at, at Giselle's event, you said that you had two kids. Well, right. on the book, it says you have another kid. So that's all I ever say. So, so let me be completely transparent with you. Yeah. On paper, I have two kids. Biologically, I have three. My son and the rights were taken away from me from their grandparents when I was 17 years old. Because at the time, I was naive, I was scared, and I had to sign over my rights, right? So this is a real-life situation. So this is trauma that I'm still dealing with because I'm still creating a relationship with my son. Okay, so right? that was all I wanted to, her to know. I just wanted to see if you were being honest with her, because yeah, you weren't sure. being honest with us. That was yeah. it. Yeah, she knows my son. It's okay. not for him to be honest with you. He doesn't even know you. First of all, I'm not, I don't want smoke with anybody. It's peace 
but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a straight shooter, and she knows my whole story. Yeah. That is the reason why we're so healthy today. So I don't have no ill will against you. I wish you the best, and that's it. And same to you guys, and that was it. I was always coming from a caring place because I feel like the truth will set you free in any situation. Speak your truth, and it'll set you free. We good? We good. And I wish y'all the best. We good. You know, Thank like, you. It's no, yeah. it's no ill will. Yeah. All right? All right. You have a good one. You too. You good, babe? I'm straight, of course. You okay? Yeah. You call yourself the bill collector, but Christian doesn't have anything to hide, so leave us out of your reach.